Hola, I'm Christian, and today we're going to talk you through the editing workflow for Magic Lantern Raw video with DaVinci Resolve. Now, we're going to use DaVinci Resolve for two reasons. One, because DaVinci Resolve is free. You can have a free version of DaVinci Resolve, so it's a no-brainer. And two, actually the file format that we're going to convert the raw video into works really, really well with DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci understands DNG files much easier than say Premiere Pro does. So two good reasons there. There is a download that you're going to need to convert this file into something that so you can convert it into something that DaVinci understands and that is called MLV app which I think stands for Magic Lantern Video. I, I actually don't know but that is what we're going to use to convert the file from the raw video file format to the DNG file format that DaVinci understands. Within minutes, you'll be editing Magic Lantern raw video on DaVinci Resolve, and it's really, really simple. Disclaimer, MLV app is an external download. Choose to download that at your own, you know, your own risk. I take no responsibility for it. I didn't create it. I have nothing to do with it. It's just what I use to convert the file format, and I haven't had any issues with it. So I'm going to share my screen. Let's have a look and see how easy this is. Okay, so we need to start by looking for the MLV app, the Magic Lantern video. Now, there is a link in the description below to download this because you'll need it to convert the video file so DaVinci will understand it. Now, I've got my footage ready on the desktop, so just drag it and drop it over. And as you can see, pops in and it understands it. And you've got some correction at the side. Now, the correction at the side is so you can either change your exposure levels, you can change your blacks, your highlights, you can effectively color correct it here if you want to. You could color grade it, but I would recommend color correct here rather than color grade because you're going to want all your footage to match. Push play, it stutters through, look, because effectively what it does is it takes individual files, so they're more in-depth individual files. It will play smoother if you have a slightly better system. I'm using a base model Mac Pro at the moment. Now into settings, we're going to use an uncompressed DNG file and we're going to want it in DaVinci Resolve file numbering because it's what DaVinci Resolve will understand. So close that and all you now need to do is just at the top you've got this little box here and we're going to export the clip. Now we need to decide where we're going to export it to. So you can export it to wherever you want, standard as as you would expect with any file. I'm going to export mine to my desktop just so it's easy for me to find for these purposes. And it's now going to export. It's going to speed through. I'm going to speed this up a little bit because it's a little bit more information. Okay, so as you can see, it's exported. Now all you need to do with this is close it down or you know just make it, make it small at the bottom. And if we open the file format, as you can see, it's now got loads of individual files in here. Now these are individual DNG clips. So effectively what it does is it takes individual photos and builds a video. So you've got photo information for one video format. So we'll open DaVinci Resolve. Let's just take a moment. Okay, so open a project on DaVinci Resolve like you normally would. So standard as you would normally use DaVinci Resolve. Now we're going to import a file. And again, you can do this any way you prefer. I'm just doing it this way so you can actually physically see me doing something on the screen. Now you've got all your files. Now with After Effects, for instance, if you select the first individual file and drag it into After Effects, you will get a full video. But with DaVinci Resolve, if you only select the first one, you get one individual still clip. So with DaVinci Resolve, what you will need to do is, let's just reset all of this. Close, delete timeline. Okay, so if we now go back to import, import file, So what you will need to do is you will need to select all of the DNG clips. So if you select all of the DNG clips and import all, it will then condense it down into a video format. So it now has created its own video. It's put all these DNG clips together and it's now building a video sequence. It is normally a bit smoother than this. I need to adjust my playback settings and things. Um, because it is quite a 
heavy file format because effectively it's like individual photos in Lightroom put together to build a sequence, hence the reason you don't get any sound. Now you can colour grade this as then, as normal as you want. Now you can push the colour grading on this much more than you can on this standard H.264 out of um, a Canon 70D or an old 5D Mark II for instance. So as you can see you can really pull the colours out. Now the colour grading process is up to you, you can do that any which way you want to. That's your own preference, but that is the process for getting the Magic Lantern video into DaVinci. It's really simple, and once it's in DaVinci, it's the same process as what you would normally use for any other video format, because DaVinci then understands it. We're going to export this, and we're done. Okay, so that's it. Nice and simple process to get the Magic Lantern video into DaVinci Resolve. That took absolutely no time at all to do that. But the results are 100% worth it for all the zero pennies that you're going to spend to download a free version of DaVinci, a free version of Magic Lantern, and the MLB app. I mean, it's a no-brainer. It's an extra tool that you've got with your 70D that you didn't have before. It's definitely something I'm going to use. Now, if you'd like to see me show you how to do this with, say, Premiere Pro, because it's a completely different process than it is with DaVinci, please do leave a comment and let me know. Or if you've got any questions about the process. Now, if you've enjoyed the video, do like, do subscribe if you're into that sort of thing. And I'll see you soon for the next video. And remember, stay lucky.